Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Picture Fun. Today we are going to learn how to manipulate in Photoshop or how to provide amazing water effects in Photoshop. So let's begin our tutorial. First we are going to take a new document or new page. Just click on file and select new and take document 1920-1080 and make resolution 300 because this one is very important. You can also take different wide and different height then press create or press enter key so your document is ready now we are going to place some images so first we are going to place our model image so just drag and drop this one and resize this one as per your page so this one is resized and place this one little bit in this portion and increase the size of your image so this one is placed now we are going to select this area first so just we take pen tool and we are going to start selection first zoom your image by pressing ctrl plus and then start your selection when you complete your selection just simply right click and go to make selection and make feather radiation 0 pixel then press ok and press delete key so this one is deleted now your image is separated and again deselect this one by clicking on selection and click on deselect so this one is deselected now we are going to fill this two different area so what we have to do we just duplicate this one first and simply place this area and go to mask layer and take a brush and remove this one make opacity 100% and remove this one And again make duplicate and place image in that portion and do the same process go to again mask layer and take a brush and remove this portion also so this one is done and it's look pretty awesome and now we are going to merge this three layer in one just select this one by and hold shift key and right click and go to merge so your image is perfect and select crop tool remove the outer areas then you can see that your work is completely completed now we are going to add a sky image first so this is our sky image and we are select this one by using rectangle marquee tool and simply select this one and drag and drop this one resize this one as per your image So this one is done and now uh, place this layer behind your model image and this, so this one is almost completed now we are going to change the color of sky so we just click on image adjustment and go to hue saturation and decrease the saturation first and colorize or simply this one is perfect and provide this one little bit blue look so this one is perfect
then press ok so this one is done now we are going to remove this gate area so we just select polygonal closer tool and zoom your image and apply this tool then press delete key first you select the car image and then press delete key and go to selection and deselect this one also do the same thing in this portion also when you complete your complete work then just go to select and deselect this one so now we are going to add some building image behind this background or behind this model so i think this one is the perfect building for my work just simply go to quick selection tool and select this building uh, when you select this one just click on select subject then press ok it automatically selected your portion so this one is selected very finely and simply drag and drop this one in your workplace zoom out your image by pressing ctrl minus and adjust the size of your image and put behind this image in your world duplicate this one again place this one in this portion and again duplicate this one and press little bit this one in this portion so the background is the background work is also done zoom your image by pressing ctrl plus again and now we are going to add some water image or water effect so this is our water image and we are going to select this one first by using rectangle marquee tool and simply select this one this one is the best portion and now simply drag and drop this this one in your workplace or work page so this one is perfectly placed now hold shift and simply stretch the image duplicate this one first and hide this layer and make opacity a little bit lower and take mask layer this one is the very easiest process to provide water effect so take mask and go to brush this one is brush and simply resize your brush then first we are going to it is this area so what you have to do just click in this portion and in this portion by holding shift key so this one applied must very quietly good and now we are going to provide mask layer in this portion so what we have to do we just click on mask layer press your button and zoom your image first and simply apply this from car because we are trying to show our car first Now again make this one 100% so we can see that the images look quite good and the effect is almost provided so good 
just remove this one be careful it doesn't show anything so take your time first to do this work because this one is the main part of work just increase the opacity like this and apply in that area because water layer are not this like the same it is different area provide a different look so this one is done and what we have to do with this one we simply first select this one or we are going to remove this line so go to mask layer and make this time 100 percent and zoom your image again one time more and apply mask on this portion so we can see that we are perfectly apply this mask and again apply more mask in this portion and remove this one completely so this one looks completely odd this time but we are going to change this one completely when it when it is almost completed just decrease the opacity of this one this one is perfect this one is perfect and take a mask layer go to brush and remove these lines so how it's look it's look amazing just remove this area also so this one is almost done and the sky image is also look perfect and now we are going to colorize the complete work so just click on adjustment layer select color balance and go to blue color first and increase kind color also or so this one is also look good and the sky color sky is not look so good in this image or uh, we are going to change this one little bit so just change the color of this sky or we are give amazing cloudy look so just remove this one just hide this one and take a cloudy sky so take a cloudy sky so i think this one is perfect for my work so just simply drag and drop this one and adjust the size of this sky so this one is look really good and the work is almost the work is almost done and the effect is also visible so clear so this one is almost done and you can also provide so many extra images such like flying paper or any other things but i am done with only this because this one is simple tutorial so you can also add more images and we take little bit time so we don't have a time so much so again we mask the complete layer in one layer or uh, first we are providing little bit lights behind this one so take a new layer go to brush and make this time white 
and zoom your or resize your brush and apply this white color. So you can see that oh sorry see the white effect. This one is done and now we are going to add our final touch. So just mask the complete layer by pressing shift ctrl alt plus e and duplicate this one this one is just for backup and go to filter and select camera row and simply go to first effects and decrease the amount of highlighted priority and press First press OK. Then take a brush first. Uh, first take a blank layer. Take a brush and take this time little bit gray or little bit black and make opacity like six percent and apply this one. Also apply in this portion also. So this one is done and again merge the complete layer by pressing shift ctrl alt plus e. Duplicate this one again. Again go to camera raw and select filter and select camera raw. Increase the saturation first and also increase little bit sharpness and go to split tone and highlighted area make orange and shadow area make cyan Then press OK. The color is completely visible and go to filter, select Nick collection and select color effects pro. And now select B2 or this time we select L2 and make strength a little bit higher and increase also shadow. Highlighted area is perfect then press ok so your work is done if you like this tutorial hope you like this tutorial if you like this tutorial please subscribe my channel see you soon with new tutorial goodbye